Hi there, Boris. Can we ask a quick question? Yeah, uh, we're from a university at Winchester. Fantastic. And how, how are you doing? Do you know, I think you're, you well, didn't it used to be called King Alfred's College. It was, yes. And, and, we they, just had a, it, and you should reinstate that. It should be called Alfred University. Yeah, Don't you King think? Alfred and University. King Alfred, because I think you changed your name from King Alfred College to University of Winchester. We and have. so this great English king is no longer commemorated in the title of your fantastic Definitely. institute. Definitely, institute we, have learning. A, we have a so big lecture building as King Alfred. Oh, you do, Alfred's still there, is he? It is. Okay, He's good. And, um, Alfred's and today, very important. Have you enjoyed your day today? Thank you, yeah, very much, very good. Yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of support for Maria. Hutchings are a fantastic candidate. And I think people are getting the, the you know, the, you've got to look at the, the basic choices between the Conservatives have a plan for getting on with the, improving the economy and getting people into work and sorting out the problems we got yeah. and uh, the Liberal Democrats who are great big quivering jellies great big wobbling jellies of indecision and vacancy and, and all the rest of it Definitely. and uh, why should we as students and young people why well, should we get behind I think, the campaign? I think because it's all about the future it's all about where you see Britain in 10, 20, 30 years time what is it going to be? It's going to be a, a great, great trading nation. It's going to be a country that is competing with uh, places across the world that in, in my childhood were barely part of the world economy. And so you need a party that sees the importance of skills, of training, of um, making sure that young people get into apprenticeships, that you build the infrastructure that you need to be a... Uh, a, a great and competitive country and so I, th I think if you look at all, all the, the things the Tories are offering on the economy I think they, broadly speaking they got it right so if, you, if you're worried about where you're going to be what job you're going to be doing in 10, 20, 30 years time you should go with us Definitely. Um, also, other than that, you mentioned the Liberal Democrats. We heard earlier in the week that John O'Farrell actually said you're a part-time politician what, Why would he say that exactly? He said who is a part-time politician? Uh, yourself <laughs> he should try, do, he try doing my job. Is that you really? I see. Well, well obviously, we've seen you out today, and you're, yeah. you're getting into it. So yeah. No. Well, I think um, you know people. People. Uh, the interesting thing about this election, actually, is how the Labour Party is nowhere. You know, this is mid-term, isn't it? And you'd expect Miliband to be to be romping away with this by-election. Uh, Labour Labour came second in 1994. Where are they? They're nowhere. They got. They're nowhere. They're uh, that they're being exterminated, ob obliviated. Where are they? I think it's, uh, that is the mystery of the Eastleigh by-election. The the dog that didn't bark is is where Labour. Where Ute Labour? Okay. They have vanished. Well, uh, Can you, oh, sure, find Miliband. Yeah. That's my advice. <laughs> Fine, it's like, it's where's Wally? Like, where's Wally? Yeah. <laughs> there you are. Thanks very much. Enjoy Take the rest care. of your day. Thank you. Thank you.